The 2023.1 version of SA offers some really nice improvements in circle extraction capability. I'd like to show that to you. So let's go ahead and extract some features from this CAD model that's already been scanned. To do that, I'm just going to go to the Features tab and show you a little trick. We have Auto Filter, and if you open this dialog, what I can do is I can just simply leave it open and click on the CAD and it'll auto detect the features. So I'm just going to do that to extract some circles. So I'll just extract them one at a time here and it should work along and do two things. It's both going to extract the circles themselves and it's going to, um, well, both the nominal and the measured feature should be extracted for me. So that's the goal, and all I'm doing is clicking along and selecting the features that I want to extract. But there's a secret. One of the things that you need to do in order to fit a circle is to both extract the interior data and um, the plane upon which it should be projected. So in the past, SA required you to go ahead and um, also extract a plane feature for the projection process. But that's not necessary anymore. You can now simply go to the properties of the circle and edit the way that it's extracted. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this real quick. If I go to a 3D hole and apply it, you'll see that suddenly a couple of things happened. A upper ring of data is extracted to define a plane. Inner data is extracted within that hole and then the circle is fit. And Originally, what you would do is just use the interior data, which is this data here, um, but by having it integrated, you get both. And the way that we're doing this is if you go to the circle properties, you'll see that the input cloud, which is now hidden, is also linked to the circle. And the way that it's linked is using this associate proximity filter clouds. And once it's linked, then you have full control over the fit. And we can do just a 2D hole. So if you had sheet metal, you could just extract the top. And these tolerances can be adjusted however you need. Let's go way down so that it doesn't get any of the edge data. And go back to a 3D hole. So there you go. You have extracted just the data that you need to extract the hole. And when you're happy with your settings, you can just simply say apply to selected. Select them all. And it will run through and extract all those holes for you. So that's a pretty cool little feature. And if you notice, there was something else that's nice. You can actually see the clouds that are of a denser uh, display than the input cloud. And the way that we do that is you can just simply go to any of these. Let's go to one of these in particular. And you'll see there's now a size control. So you can adjust the size. And you can see that changing in the graphics there over here. The size control is now available for point clouds, which makes it a little easier to visualize a point cloud when you're looking at multiple clouds all on top of each other. We've also done the same sort of thing. So if I'm zooming in here and I'm looking to see which one, I'll go over here to that same one, which one of these circles is actually the nominal, you can hold the shift key and use the mouse wheel to expand the size of the way that it, the circle is drawn. So I can go to either one of these, or if you wanted to, you can go to the graphics and expand and contract, and you'll actually see the same thing. So it's a couple of nice little additions for the display of, of both clouds and geometry. But the primary thing is circle extraction and all of the tools that we added for that. So two places to find it. You can go directly into the properties, and there's a new proximity filter settings. Or we've added a direct option, which is a little easier to access if you're doing them quickly, which is Configure Cloud Trapping Filter. And this filter option gives you all the settings. So we now have the interior data. So if you want just the interior data, you can do that. The full 3D extraction, 2D. Or if you have holes within a cylinder, so rather than on a plane, you can use a cylinder as the extraction. You can use flanges, and you can use even a flanged hole in a cylinder. So we have lots of fit settings now for circle extraction to ensure that you have the data extracted as you need.